My name is Vinod and I'm going to show you today how to configure the Informatica Data Services ODBC JDBC driver in a Unix environment to use Informatica Data Services virtual table as a power center lookup or a source. So our agenda for the video today is how to install the Informatica Data Services JDBC ODBC package, deploy a simple SQL data service, configure the parameters and the DSN in the ODBC INA file in a power center environment, and import a simple virtual table into the power center designer, create a power center mapping to read the data from the data service virtual table, and create a power center mapping to look up the data from the data service virtual table. So the first step is I'm going to show you is how to install the JDBC ODBC package in a Unix environment. So for every Unix environment, we do ship a standalone package which which can be used to install the JDBC ODBC installer for each Unix environment. So highlighted is the uh, tar file which you need to untar it to install uh, the ODBC JDBC package alone. So once this is done, I mean once this is executed correctly, you would be able to see two folders, JDBC DRV and ODBC DRV and the install log. So these folders will have the respective JDBC jar file and the ODBC driver, which we need to connect to the data services from any client tool as well as the power center mapping. So the next step is I'm going to show you is how to deploy a simple SQL data service. And this is a very simple step because this is required in order to use power center mapping. I mean, in order to use the virtual table as the power center in a power center mapping. So I have already created a simple application, a simple PDO, and a simple uh, PDO means a physical data object and a logical data object, and deployed that as SQL data service. So this is the final virtual table. So which when I select star from the VT info that is a virtual table, I should be able to get about six rows, which which can be passed as an input to the power center mapping. And as well as it can be used as a lookup table in a power center mapping. So the next step is how to configure the parameters and the DSN in the ODBC INA file in the power center environment where in the mapping it's going to use as a source and a lookup. So when I open the Unix environment, I'm, I'm going to go to the ODBC INA directory and show you how to configure those parameters. So when I open the ODBC INA section, so this is the ODBC DSN section, which is used in order to connect to the data services. So the first parameter is nothing but a connection string. So this connection string is a pretty simple one. As, as when, when you deploy the Informatica SQL data service to the data integration service in the admin console, you should be able to see this JDBC connection string, which you can copy paste from the admin console, which I will show you in a moment. So when I open any uh, Informatica administrator tool. So this is the Informatica administ administrator tool where you can see the data integration service which is used for this deploy of the SQL data services and going to go to the applications. So here is the deployed application and the deployed table. So whenever you click on any kind of uh, the deployed table and then deployed SQL data service, you should be able to see the JDBC URL here, which you can directly copy and paste to include that in the ODBC section. The next one is the driver. So I think we just install uh, the driver, which you can see, which you'll have to just uh, add this in this driver section. Remember that has to be the ODBC driver. And the JDBC driver location should have the JDBC DRV and the respective jar file. And the one important point is uh, you need to exactly install the uh, Informatica JDBC ODBC version, which should match the Informatica server. For example, if you're running 9.1 HF4 uh, power center, that means you need to install the 9.1 HF4 JDBC ODBC package. Otherwise, the connection will fail intermittently. So the next step is I'm going to show you how to import a simple virtual table into the power center designer. So in the designer window, uh, basically, uh, so before going to the designer window on uh, uh, 
importing the virtual table. So first step is you need to install the Informatica JDBC ODBC data services package in the Windows environment because the designer can be only open from the Windows environment. So the designer needs access to the data service using the JDBC driver. So that component is a separate component which you need to get separately for the Windows environment and install it so that you will be able to import any kind of virtual tables into the Power Center designer. So when I click on the import from the database and then when I go to the administrator tools section, so go to the drivers, you'll be able to see the list of uh, the ODBC drivers for the data services that I installed. So using that you have to create a DSN and then once you create the DSN you should be able to connect to the data services and then get the data from the data services and import the virtual table here. So I've created the Informatica data services ODBC driver and then I'm using the administrator user and, ad, uh, and the administrator password and then when I click on the connect right now it is trying to attempt to connect to the data services and then this is the schema and this is the only table that I have right now for the demonstration purpose. So this should exactly match whatever I have shown in the developer tool, which is the avt.info, which I have deployed as a SQL data service. So once that is done, so you should import this as a source as well as for the lookup, because I'm going to show you a simple demonstration of how to run a mapping with a virtual table as a source and a virtual table as a lookup. This is just for the demonstration purpose. So the first mapping which I'm going to show you is a simple uh, source mapping. So this is nothing but uh, remember I, I told you uh, the Informatica virtual table as part of the SQL data services can be used only as an ODBC source or an ODBC lookup in the power center mapping. So because that is the only kind of connectivity which you can make to the data services. So uh, this is a simple mapping where I have reading the data from the virtual table and writing it to a flat file. So when I open the workflow manager, I've constructed a simple workflow, so which will, which we can try to execute, and I can show you how to, uh, I mean, how we read the data from the virtual table. So this is the simple mapping. So basically, before running this mapping or a workflow, you'll have to create a connection, the relational connection, and then when you open the ODBC section. So you'll have to provide the username and password, which is the administrator and the administrator, because uh, you can create any kind of user and use it, but make sure it has access to the virtual table and the connect string. So the connect string is nothing but the one which should match whatever you created in the ODBC INI. So this should be matching this one. So um, this is an info ODBC and this is also an info ODBC. So the connect string should should match whatever you see in the ODBC section because when you run the workflow from the workflow manager at the server side, it's going to check this ODBC INA file and respectively connect to the database. I mean the data services. So once this is configured, you need to associate the connection to the source. And then when I run this mapping, so the mapping is running. So when the source mapping has succeeded, so when I open the session log, I should be able I should be able to see that six rows has been read from the virtual table using the ODBC connection, and this is the query being fired at the data services end, and I got the six rows. So it read six rows, which you can exactly see which six rows here. So the next is uh, I'm going to show you how to use this as a lookup. It's a pretty simple stuff. Instead of a source, you have to create a lookup uh, table using the ODBC connection. That's all. So, and you need to when you when you create any kind of lookup for the virtual table, you need to associate the respective connection, and you can add any kind of SQL override or a filter connection according to your requirement. So, I'm gonna run this. So, the session is still running. So the lookup session has succeeded. And when I open the session log, the lookup query has been fired against the virtual table and the virtual table returned back six rows, which exactly matches our count. So we are pretty successful in creating a virtual table to use in a power center mapping as a source and a lookup. And uh, the next thing which I want to show you, so basically you can refer uh, this as a KB because this is 
this this for for a detailed explanation this has been explained in a informatica knowledge base article which is 113457 you can use this as a reference for creating any sql data service object as a source and a lookup in a power center mapping thank you very much for listening and we would love to hear from you uh, you can always send us a feedback to support videos at informatica.com and twitter us at infosupport thank you very much bye